All right, here at No Reserve, we have our one owner, 1994 Eddie Bauer Bronco. Has just over 85,000 original miles. Uh, came from California where we purchased it. Uh, it's been in California its whole life, so it's this beautiful rust-free body. It's really clean underneath. All original paint and body. Uh, never had any paint work, touch-up work, accidents, anything like that. Um, I mean, even the decals underneath and all the taggings. Um, Hopefully you guys can see them in the video, but uh, you can see like the original dealer markings on the drive line. Uh, you can even see the part number in the, on the body bushing. You might not be able to see it in the video, but um, I have all that stuff in pictures. And look how clean the gas tank is, decals on the frame. Really just beautiful body and paint. I mean, you can see by the reflection and the shine. It's got a really nice depth. Um, but it is 22 years old, so there's gonna be some small imperfections. Um, take you on the outside here, but first I'll take you on the inside. It's the uh, Eddie Bauer Brown, you know, it's still amazingly um, has all of its original floor mats, front and rear. So it's got the three piece. It still has these little cup holders in there. Uh, very minimal wear on on the uh, the steering wheel. The leather, you know, is faded, but it's still really nice and tight. You know, it's not pulled down like you often see. The dash is immaculate. And what's cool about this is all the white letterings on all the switches are just clean and crisp. But the dash is perfect. Underneath the floor mats is really clean. You know, there's a little darkening area just from where your foot is and stuff. It's not a all detailed out truck. But you can see the paint, there's no stress crack. You can see the original floor mat. Carpet's just in beautiful shape. You can see the headliner, all the plastic trim, top's never been off, doesn't leak. There's no fading or cracks on any of the on any of the trim pieces. Really nice. Uh, this is just an anti-theft device. Basically when it's out, it can't start. So if you want to get rid of this, it's pretty easy to undo with three wires. Um, but the door panel is immaculate. There's a little bit of they kind of like faded white right there that I'm sure would probably come up. But you look at the paint. And hopefully you guys can take the time to go through all the pictures. There's, this thing is just incredible. I mean, you look at the, how nice the paint is. Usually, you know, look how shiny it is at the dog legs. You know, there's hardly any entry wear. There's a little bit, but usually the paint's just gone right here. There's the original VIN decal. The rear window um, goes down from the interior switch and the exterior switch. And what's also cool about this truck is it has all the original books and manuals, but it still has its original rear tire cover. And what you hardly ever see anymore is it has the original rear divider where you just pull it and it can go up to the middle or to go all the way to the front. But you can see in the back, the carpet's really nice. All the trim is just in excellent condition. Again, you can see all the headliner. There's a little bit of fading right here. Probably just from wear of this thing rolling back and forth because it's in the same, same two places. You can see no rust. You often get rust in the channel down there. But you look how, how nice the anodization is on this stuff. It's usually just faded out. How beautiful that paint is. I mean, all this stuff that's still is nice and shiny. All the bolts and nuts, the latch. I mean, all this stuff is nice and shiny. That's what's cool about these low mile trucks is you get that stuff. And you look at the paint down here. It's just really nice. One of the only things is, is because of California, you know, hot weather, the outside window sweep is a little dry and hard. Um, so it has put some some minor surface scratches on the uh, outside window that I'll show you later. So again, I'll take you in here to the passenger side. I mean, just immaculate door, no fading, just nice colors. I mean, look at the emblem. Really nice. I mean, again, just perfect condition. You know, as perfect as you can get for 22 years old. I mean, it's. Uh, I mean, it's just awesome to see this stuff. It's got the original. Uh, comes with the original uh, brochures, all the original books for this truck, all the little stuff like uh, they obviously had the premium care, the uh, extended warranty. Uh, and you'd also have the Chilton's manual that comes with it. 
So I'll go ahead and move that stuff down so you can see both of the armrests and often those get broken. There's a little bit of wear there. You know, seat springs forward nicely. Again, just really nice, got the original floor mat. You can see all the original. It is getting a little late in the day, so hopefully you guys can see the condition, but uh, at least take a look at all the pictures. Well, you can see the paint in here is just beautiful. I mean, look at that, look at the rockers. I mean, there's just, there's just hardly anything. I mean, you look at that original paint line, it's just beautiful. So, all right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, take you on the outside. Hopefully you can see you know, dealer markings on the control arms, all the original tags. Uh, you can just see how clean and crisp it is. I mean, the, uh, you can read the writing on the catalytic converter, the muffler's still nice and silver. I mean, just a lot of those little details that you normally don't get. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start at the front. Oh, when you get close, there is some of those little um, kind of aging in the paint on the front of the hood. So there's kind of like these tiny little marks in the paint, and then if you wax it, obviously you get dried wax in there. Um, and you get some little scratches here and there. And there's gonna be a few of these spots on the hood. But you look at, I mean, all, all the, you know, there's some, there's kind of uh, ask, you know, rain spotting on the black trim, but it's nice and smooth and shiny. Uh, original front glass. I mean, you look at the cowl, there's no paint lifting issues, no clear coat issues. But you look at the lenses on these, is just, just like brand new, just crystal clear, nice, smooth, shiny plastics. Usually this is kind of like a faded, uh, you know, orange color and it doesn't have that smooth feel. All the bumper and chrome, just nice and deep. Just in perfect condition, nice and black, not faded out. Tiny little scratch in the molding there, but really hard to see. I mean, even along here, you, you only have one, two, three, you know, four, five, and then six and seven stone chips. I mean, really small amount. You know, you got a, one right there. But all this stuff is really hard to see. I mean, you got to get like this close. I mean, real close in there and really get picky about it. You know, no paint lifting issues there. You know, original front glass, no cracks, no fogging or anything. Both sides of the mirror, there must have been a tight garage because both sides of the mirror got a little bit of white house paint on each side, but uh, you can get a little bit of lacquer thinner or something to come goof off and get that off. Now uh, there's a very faint little scratch here that you'll see, and then looks at the same time they bumped up against something, it kind of it's really hard to see, but kind of indented the uh, metal. It's that that big of a distance. But like you come out here, you know, you got to stand at the right angle. You can't see it here. You can see it there a little bit. You got a scratch, small scratch, a couple tiny scratches. That might be just some dried wax. We look at the rocker. It's just really, really nice. I mean, there's like no stone chips. A couple right there. You know, like looks like maybe someone's door edge got it there, but you can't feel it, so you could probably uh, compound that out. And then it looks like their keychain always kind of rubbed right here, it scratched it a little bit. You got a couple entry scratches, but and the door edge chips. But other than that, outside window filter are in nice shape, still nice and smooth. And, you know, bend nice. All the fly windows open and close nice. I always leave one unlocked because I've. Uh, locked myself out before. So having a fly window open saved me. But a couple of chips there. Top's never been off and all the rubber's real nice. The tan top isn't sun dyed or faded. No chips in the fiberglass. Little chip on the edge there. I mean you look at this rear tail light, it's just shiny and smooth. You look at that paint down in here, it's just beautiful. Inside the gas door is just as clean as can be. There's a little mark in the paint there, but again, you can't feel it. There's a scratch right there. And a lot of these things you can tell when I do the walk around, you can't really see it, but if you get real close and get in there, 
you know, the stuff will pop out, and that's kind of why I want to take the time to show you guys this stuff. Um, almost like every Bronco has loading scratches. This has a few, but not very many. You got your scratches there. Scratch, 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 scratch there. And there is going to be a photo bucket link on there because I'm maxed out at 100 photos. It's just beautiful. Then I'll have a, a bunch of extra photos like decals underneath. But, uh, and then there's something on the paint here, but you can see, oh, it just wipes away. So that'll come off. Man, look how clean and crisp that emblem is. Really nice. No dents or dings on the top. You can see even the original dealer markings on the spare tire, which is cool. It's never been used. No denting around here. I mean, you can see the spare tire carrier. I mean, the bolts are just crisp and clean. A couple, well, it's just a little dirt. Just a little chip, a little mark in the paint. On a few of these spots I've shown you, there's like some, it's like this comes off, there's like a little bit like something may have bumped up in it in the garage when they owned it. Because it's just on the surface. And a lot of it just kind of rubs away. There's a thin scratch right there. Now the passenger side's got some, you know, it's got a scratch there. And this is what I was talking about, that white, like you can't feel it. But if you work at it, a lot of this comes off. So I think... Maybe somebody had a car next to it with the little rubber uh, door edge protectors or something. But uh, you'll see these little marks. And you got a little scratching there. But for 22 years old, you know, I, sh I shop and look for these Broncos all over the place. Scratches there. And it is just impossible to find them in this condition. I mean, look at, the, look at that clear coat on those polished aluminum wheels. How nice that is. It's just amazing. Uh, the tires are like brand new. A lot of these factory wheels get kind of a, not such a crisp look, like they get a little bit white and faded. But you can see the, you know, original wheel wells. we we'll pop up the hood here. And we do a driving video too, so if you guys can stick around for that. Oh, I don't think I mentioned this before. There is a little bit of wear on the bead of the driver's seat, so. There's a little tiny pinhole there. And what that's from is the cloth in these seats is you sit down on it and sometimes it'll rub up against here and sometimes you see like you get a little mark there. So you know, this is from California, so if you're from California, it's uh, got the emissions decal. Right there. But you can see the motor the engine bay, you know, not, no bolts have ever been messed with. Nothing's been ever been adjusted. It's really nice and clean, but nice and honest. You know, the way I like to keep them, um, it kind of shows how they've been kept for. Uh, we don't go through, I mean, you got, still you can see all the original spark plug wires, uh, clean the valve cover is, but we don't go through and get these things steam cleaned or hit them with a bunch of uh, gunk engine degreaser. You know, they're still you're gonna get a little bit of dirt and stuff like that, but you know, this is how I like to buy them. You can see the hood light still works. Um, you can see, I mean, even the, uh, the drain plug is nice and shiny. The, uh, all the, the metal lines are nice and shiny. So, all right, we'll get it fired up and get it warmed up and, uh, do a driving video. So this is going at no reserve. So